it! Ariana from Crafting Happiness here. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet the honeycomb stitch. And for this tutorial, I have made a few samples in single colors like this in white to show you how the texture looks like on both sides and the thickness of it. This uh, pattern produces quite a thick uh, fabric. And I've also made a sample in multiple colors for you to see how it will look like when you change uh, the yarn every four rows. I've also carried the yarn uh, around uh, along the side uh, so you don't really have to cut the yarn. You can just create a border around it. And this is how it looks like uh, when you uh, change, uh, change yarns every four rows. So let's get started. For this tutorial, I am using Aran yarn in yellow and a 5mm crochet hook. This pattern requires you to have multiples of two chains in your starting chain. Uh, my chain has a 24. So let's start with the first round and we will uh, single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And then we will crochet in every single chain until the end. When you reach the end, chain one and turn. And this is your very first row. Now, the second row is pretty much the same. Uh, single crochet in a very first stitch and then single crochet in every single stitch along until the end. And this is your second row. Now chain one and turn and we will start with our third uh, row. Single crochet in the very first stitch and then in the following uh, stitch we will make a long single crochet two rows below. So um, a long single crochet, it's made just like a regular single crochet. Is uh, the only difference is where you insert your hook, and we will be inserting the hook right here under the stitch uh, in the very first uh, row. So two rows below. You just have to kind of figure out where uh, under the stitch you should insert the hook. Um, just inserted right below the stitch right here and then yarn over pull up a loop and pull through quite a loose loop and then complete your single crochet now the stitch behind remains unworked and we will be skipping that so make sure you are not crocheting uh, your next stitch into that stitch and uh, uh, it takes a bit of an exercise but you will figure it out and it will be an automatic thing uh, just uh, be mindful not to crochet in that stitch that's uh, left unworked at the back uh, next we are going to single crochet in the following stitch and again into um, below the next stitch we will make a long single crochet uh, right here uh, right below the stitch so insert your hook in uh, that space between the stitches right there and yarn over pull up a loose loop like this and complete your single crochet and again we are skipping that stitch behind it and make a single crochet and this is your repeat section for this pattern long single crochet followed by a single crochet and we repeat these two stitches we alternate them all the way until the end of the row so let me show you one more repeat uh, under the next stitch two rows below insert your hook and make a long single crochet and then 
um, into the next stitch not the one that's along at the back into the next stitch we are making a single crochet and just repeat that until the end of the row and this is your third row uh, we have finished the row with a single crochet and these are the long single crochet stitches and now we continue with the fourth row we are going to chain one and turn and now we are going to create the honeycomb uh, pattern uh, that you've seen in my sample uh, we are going to start with two single crochet one in each stitch so make one single crochet and then a second single crochet and now we are going to uh, make a front post single crochet um, if you are familiar with working in the front post uh, stitches any kind of stitches they are all made around the posts of uh, the stitches below either around uh, like this around a single crochet or any kind uh, of uh, post like in this case we are going to work around these uh, loops of um, the long single crochet so we will make around these two um, loops we are going to make a long post single crochet so what you do is insert your hook behind the uh, um, left um, a loop of the first um, long single crochet and then behind the right loop of the second um, a long single crochet and we are just gonna yarn over pull up a loop and complete a single crochet as usual and in this case we have the same situation where there will be a single crochet left behind onward you just have to skip this one and continue uh, crocheting into the next one and in the next one we make a single crochet and then again a front post single crochet <clears throat> uh, we will insert the hook behind the left loop of the first long single crochet and then behind the right loop of the second uh, long single crochet and make a single crochet like this and now we have a stitch left and work behind we're ignoring that skipping that and into the next we make a single crochet and we repeat this is a repeat section quite simple um, it's a long single crochet around the loops in front followed by a regular single crochet and we alternate these two stitches all the way until we have one stitch left so let me show you again another repeat um, so first is a long sing uh, it's a front post single crochet around the left loop and right loop of the uh, these two long single crochet yarn over pull up a loop yarn over and pull through the two and then skip that behind and into the next make a single crochet so repeat this all the way until you have one stitch left and now I have one stitch left I will make a single crochet in that last stitch and this is your fourth row complete we continue with round five and we make a chain and turn and we will start with a long um, single crochet again two rows below so insert your hook right below this very first stitch somewhere here and pull up a loop and then make your single crochet uh, ignore the unworked stitch behind and into the next one make a single crochet and now again a long single crochet this is uh, made a bit differently uh, there are a few rules a couple of rules uh, to keep in mind always insert your hook to the left of your uh, long previous long single crochet so don't insert it in the middle or on the right side always insert it to the left two rows below and where it comes out 
it always has to come out in the middle of this V. So not like this, not on the side, but always has to come right here at the top in the middle of these two loops. And then one, once that is like that, yarn over, pull up a loop, a loose loop, and then make your single crochet like this. And again, ignore that stitch and more stitch behind. And into the next stitch, make a single crochet. And again, a long single crochet. Uh, remember, always in the left side of that previous long single crochet, insert your hook, and when it comes out, it has to come out in the middle of those, in that V, so between those two loops. Otherwise, the pattern will not come out right. Pull up a long loop, like this, and make a single crochet. And this is your repeat section for this row. One single crochet, one long single crochet. Remember, always at the uh, left of the stitch and in the middle of that V. Okay, so let me show you one more repeat. You repeat this section until the end of the row. So single crochet next and long single crochet in next, right below, two rows below uh, the next stitch. So insert your hook to the left of the previous long single crochet and in the middle of it. That's it. Like this. Yarn over and make your single crochet. So repeat these two stitches until the end of the row. So now I made the last uh, long single crochet in a very last stitch. Uh, this one does not need to go in between any V's. It has actually uh, has to go on the side of the last V. And again, the same height, two rows below. Um, and that's about it. Now we can start with a uh, last row. And that is row six. Chain one and turn. And now we are going to uh, join these loops together and create a honeycomb pattern. So we start with a single crochet into the first stitch and then we make a front post single crochet um, around these loops, the left loop, loop and right loop of the two long uh, single crochet. So push your hook behind the left, left loop and the right loop and then make your single crochet and then ignore the stitch behind that it's unworked and into the next make a single crochet and this is your repeat section long single um, from post single crochet around the these two loops followed by a single crochet let me uh, show you again a repeat from post single crochet around the left loop and right loop of these two uh, long single crochet and then make your single crochet as usual and then into the next a regular single crochet and just repeat this until the end of the row and this is your sixth row and final row, uh, from this point on, uh, you repeat uh, rows 3, 4, 5 and 6 as many times until you have uh, the desired length to your project. And this is how it looks like, you know, you can see how the honeycomb uh, starts to form. And um, this is how it looks from the back. It doesn't look really that bad at all. It's uh, quite a thick uh, design, so it's perfect for winters. Uh, and it just looks really really nice so yeah I hope uh, my tutorial was easy to follow if you have any questions about this pattern put it in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to help you and answer it happy crocheting